Hi there. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of mathwhiteboard.com to help you use it in your classroom for your students. So you're going to go to mathwhiteboard.com. It's a tether free or restriction free website, meaning that there's no logins needed for you or your students, and it's absolutely free. So to create a whiteboard, just click on the button that says create a whiteboard now. Then you'll start with new whiteboard. When you click on new whiteboard, a pop up with all the different features. You can close that if you want, but I'm going to go through the different features with you really quickly. There are different input modes you can use. It has handwriting recognition. You can also type your math with a keyboard. You can make annotations with a stylus, finger or mouth mouse, or you can type text. The handwriting recognition looks like this. If you type an equation out, it's going to recognize your handwriting for you and type the equation in math font for you. Okay. Then if you want to erase, you just scribble over what you want to erase and it'll take it off. To graph, once you have your equations written, if you just draw this swoop gesture through one or more of your equations, it'll create a graph for it. Same with sliders. If you draw a straight line down, it'll give you a number line slider to, to manipulate. Here's a really cool feature that I think will be helpful for us with Amplify. You can upload a PDF from your from any file explorer or from any program into a math whiteboard and students can annotate on top of it. So if you had a, a, a PDF or a worksheet from Amplify and you wanted to see your students work um, while they're virtual or just on their Chromebooks, you could upload it. And I'm going to show you how to copy enough copies for your students and do that so that everybody has their own copy or for groups. So you can upload any PDF into mathwhiteboard.com. We, like we said, we can also type the math out. Another graphing option is to go to insert and then select graph. Then it'll put an empty graph on your page and you can type your equations out and drag them into your empty graph to graph them. So that would be really helpful when you're teaching students or introducing them to graphing. It'll also solve or approximate answers for you if you use an arrow or a double arrow. Another thing that it's not shown on here, but it'll show you equivalence as well. There's a button for, for equivalency. So if you're working on equivalent fractions or anything like that, you can look at your equivalency on Math Whiteboard for students to check themselves. So if you want to share these with your students, you just copy the link and then paste the link into your Zoom chat, your Google Classroom, however you want to share it with your students. So let's take a look at Math Whiteboard and see what we can do. So here I have a whiteboard, a plain whiteboard, but I want to upload a PDF. So here's my PDF and I want to make enough PDFs for all the students in my classroom to work on. Or maybe I have four groups of students and we're working on it. So to copy what I already have on my whiteboard, I'm just going to click on the image, then click Control C and Control V as many times as I want to duplicate that whiteboard. So now I have three whiteboard or four whiteboards duplicate duplicated here for my students to use. And now my students can go in and as they mark on it, it'll show you what they're doing in real time on your screen as they work. And all you have to do to get them on here is share the copy link and then tell them which slide, which whiteboard slide to go to. Okay. So some other features that are pretty cool, um, highlight equivalence is a really cool feature. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to use MathWrite and write out two thirds, write out two thirds. And then over here, I'm going to write one half. See how they're highlighted different colors? That means that they're not equivalent. If I were to write over here, one third and two sixths, it's going to color them the same, showing that they are equivalent. So that's a really cool feature you can use. With the graphing, if I had um, some equations, two X plus four. So I have my two equations and I'm going to do a swooping line through both of them. And it's going to show them on a graph for me. Okay. I can click here and I can also get my function table. So I can see what different X values would be if I plug them in. So that's a pretty neat feature when you're introducing students to Math Whiteboard. So say I wanted to share this with my class and I have my PDFs ready for my students. 
to share it with them, I'm just going to copy the link from here and put it in my Google Classroom or Zoom if we're virtual. When the students click on the link, it'll mirror your screen, what, you, what your whiteboard shows. Okay, so say that I assign my groups and say that I have um, uh, group two is working on this slide and I have one student who's working away. But then I have another student who is just goofing off and drawing smiley faces. I'm able to see that in real time on my whiteboards. So I can monitor my student progress as they're working virtually or in a blended environment. Those are my favorite features of Math Whiteboard. There's so many more that I'd love to show you, but I hope this helps get you started. Bye.